Alright, All right, Facebook Live audience, we just went live. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for. I, ju I just now hit the live button for our trivia tonight. And I've got a microphone and all that type of stuff, but um, I'll get on that in a minute. Oh, oh, Bill Owens is here. Man, Jeff, you always beat me to the chair, man. Even, you know. I don't play. He's ready. Hey, your, your shorts match my shirt, man. Yeah. <laughs> Trivia, I'm going to hit the uh, share button here. i got to find it real quick. There I am. Um, share. I'm going to share it to the church Facebook page. Snuck it still. Snuck it still. Snuck it To the page. All right, my mom's watching. Y'all are in trouble now. No pressure, Mom. We have high expectations on you since you taught me the Bible growing up. So, uh, <laughs> I'm with the man. I sent this to the court. I just shared it. You guys shared it. I'll look my notes over here. Go grab real quick. I shall return. Be right back. There we go. Got it. All right. Is it always a requirement that the beautiful people sit on yes. your left? Yeah, I need to show you guys who's here. Uh, hey, my dad says hello. Try you right where you belong. Hey, Dad. All right, I've got to show you who's in the in the crowd so far here. Um, so let's see here. I'm going to turn this around. Give me a second. Okay. If you're wondering why it's so, if you're wondering why it's so quiet here, it was really quiet a minute ago. Here, here's the usual suspects over here. We got some over here. If you're wondering why it's so quiet in here, and it was really quiet a while ago until Bill came in, but it's still kind of quiet because Martha Faye's not here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. Her name is Blabbin. Like she, she blabs a lot. No, I'm kidding. Martha Faye, we're kidding. If you go back and watch, Bill said that Bill's sitting over here with Tasha, and Bill said this is the beautiful table over here. So, uh, so because Bill's sitting over there. So, uh, as he said that, he Bill said it, he got up and walked away. <laughs> so, we got we got both pastors here, we got Lana here. So, high expectations, oh. high expectations from that table right there. <laughs> so, uh, Bible trivia tonight. All right, oh, it is 6 30. Let me get on the microphone now. We don't, we don't really need a microphone much here. As much as we did the other places, but uh, but I'll get on the microphone anyway, and I'll hold it away so I don't blow them away, but I can yell at you guys, not yell at you, but you know. All right, Bible trivia tonight is Jonah. If you are a speed reader, go ahead and read it right now while I'm doing the intro. Is Jonah, Bible trivia is Jonah. You will find that in the book. Linda Crowley. Linda is... Linda, it is unacceptable that you are not here tonight. I just want you to know I'm kidding. We've been praying for you today. So we miss you and we wish that you were here with us. But Linda is watching. So Speak for yourself. Yeah, yeah. So well, Bill said speak for yourself. Emma? Yeah. Emma's not here. That slacker. That Sil Silverdale's not representing tonight. The Silverdale kids make me look smart. Yes. Bill said the Silverdale kids make him look smart. And did Lori sign up? Lori, I haven't seen Lori yet, so we're still looking for Lori Green. We're going to leave here, so I'm, I'm still good. I'm comfortable. <laughs> Judy is here. So. Tell her that she needs me. Chip's I'll be up there after I go okay. to my I don't, Judy's not going to be able to do anything tonight because she doesn't have her cheating partners here tonight with her, so Ju Judy's all on her own. Uh, but we are doing Jonah in the Bible. If you are wondering where to cheat, you can cheat in the book of Jonah in the Bible. That would be a good place to go. So uh, um, you can ask Google some of the questions. Um, my mom, oh, my mom's already watching. I knew that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff here. I've got it behind me. I'm not sitting down tonight. I don't have a, a stool with me or anything like that. I was too lazy to carry it all in. So I'm going to have to. After you made Tasha carry everything in. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Tasha carried it in. Okay. <laughs> she felt sorry for me as I was sitting out on the steps out there, like, holding my head down. He was out there crying. <laughs> All right, so we got some trivia questions here. I, you know what? I have not even looked at Bill's trivia stuff yet, but Bill had some questions too. So I'm gonna, I, I may throw those in. You can tell me whose trivia is better. So. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. These people. 
<laughs> so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do mine and then I'm gonna do a speed round through bills. Like uh so uh so here we go. Trivia. Jonah in the Bible, not Jonah as the Jonas brothers. This is Jonah in the Bible, sorry for all you teeny boppers, whatever they're called that or what are they is that what they call them? So Jonah in the Bible. Trivia. And, you know, Bill's the one who said, mentioned to me about doing this is because isn't that what the book study is this week or yes, something? So, yeah, and we have a bunch of people studying. Okay, <laughs> so you guys should be able to get these answers. Okay, question number one. Jonah, in the Bible, where was Jonah leaving from? I know it's a tricky question. <laughs> where was Jonah leaving from? You know, he was getting on a ship. He bought some tickets. We have one person who says Joppa. Anybody else agree? We'll see what the people on Facebook. What we have, we have some agreeing in here. That is Joppa, Joppa, Joppa. Oh, Jeff says Joppa. Tasha says Joppa. Tasha, Joppa. Tasha, Joppa. Eyes when you say that. Right. Eyes. Oh, just gaze. Yeah, just, mm. <laughs> I get a glare every time I say yeah. that. Yeah, laser. <laughs> Well, you know what? Everybody's answering pretty quickly, and every and uh, so we are going to go with Joppa. And if you said Joppa, you are correct. Jonah was leaving from Joppa. He bought his tickets in Joppa. But question number two: Where was Jonah supposed to be going? Where was he supposed to be going? Some people in here are saying that he was supposed to be going to New York. No, I mean Nineveh. Nineveh. Some of the yeah. people in here are saying Nineveh. Tasha says Nineveh. And she actually spelled it right. Wow. No, I think that's actually yeah, right. I got ease. So, I, I always spell it with an A-H. I got ease. <laughs> oh, he was going to Nevada. I guess he was going to Las Vegas. No wonder he got in trouble. Okay. So, so. Yes, Jeff, that is right. We'll, we'll, we know that. We know that uh, spell check. Yeah, yeah spell that's check. It. Yeah, yeah. Well, that might end up being a question. You never know. <laughs> hey, she's preaching a sermon over there. We got somebody preaching a sermon over here. So, all right. Randy says Nineveh. Mom says Nineveh. So it must be correct. Yes, if mom says Nineveh, that's where he was going. Yeah, Randy, it's a kind of a hard one to spell. Like in spell check, we'll mess it up every time. So if you said... I, the first question was, where was Jonah leaving from? Joppa was the answer. Question number two, where was Jonah supposed to go? Or where, where was he supposed to be going? He was supposed to be going to Nineveh. You guys are correct. Now, question number three, which somebody's already had me preach a sermon over there. Where was Jonah going instead of Nineveh? I can't spell it. We have some... It's, it's easier to say it in per, say it than it is. We have somebody, uh, Tasha, and we have someone else in the room saying Tarshish. Tarshish. Yeah. Tar tarnish something. We're doing a little Bible trivia here, so sorry about it. hope we're not interrupting your dinner too bad. So You're fine. Okay. Feel free to chime in, throw in some answers if you want. So. <laughs> um, by the way, anybody else in the restaurant, feel free to join in on the answers here for trivia. Um, I'm a pastor, know. and it would be nice if somebody could help me out here because... I don't want to look like an idiot. All right. If you guys said Tarshish, and a couple of people did say Tarshish, is that how you say it? Man, that's hard to say. Say that like five times in a row fast. So you guys are correct when you said Tarshish. So was that good? All right. All right. So we are burning through this trivia. It's going to start slowing down here in a minute because there are some, my mom says Tarsus, close. I think that's, you know, so. It's yeah. close. No, 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 that is right. That's my mom. She said that. That's the Catherine Pretty Man version. All right. Question number four. And my mom's an English teacher, so she's really going to be upset with herself. But I don't know how it's spelled, actually. So you might have spelled it right, Mom. I don't even know. All right. Question number four. A big storm came along once they got on the boat. What was Jonah doing when it was storming? Some people are saying that he was sleeping. Are you mixing that up with the Jesus story? When a storm came along on a boat. So some people say that he was sleeping. Jeff says it. Tasha says sleeping. Jeff says sleeping. Uh, Lana says sleeping. Judy says sleeping. She's cheating. <laughs> You'd be proud of her, Linda. So uh, 
I'm kidding, Judy. Okay. I gotta be careful. She buys me ice cream sometimes. I don't want to make her angry. So, uh, oh, yeah, you're, you're fine. You're fine. So, you're, no problem at all. So, Randy says sleeping. We're trying to hide from God. You know what? Finally, you were wrong on one. He was sleeping. <laughs> I don't know if he was trying to hide. You know what? You might be extra right. He was sleeping and maybe trying. I think he was maybe running from God. So, uh, but, um, which. That doesn't really work out real well. He's really fast. Um, <laughs> all right, my mom says sleeping, so we can move on now. Mom says sleeping. Notice Chip Liner. He doesn't know what's going on. Chip, all that study for nothing, man. So uh, he's probably at a ball game right now. Okay, that was question number four, Jonah in the Bible. By the way, we are doing this in a book study right now at Grace Works Church with our life groups and some of the Bible studies and different things are uh, kind of doing this right now. They're book studying there on Jonah, which is kind of why we chose to do this. So by the way, we I should give a shout out. We are at... Uh, Gondolier. <laughs> we are at Gondolier here on Lee Highway. And they have a huge menu here. So, uh, uh, hey, my mom says hi to somebody. So, you can say hello back. Uh, okay. Hi, Peggy. I think she's talking about another Peggy. We actually have a Peggy here in person. So, uh, but, um, but anyway, we are at Gondolier on Lee Highway. You can come on down still. They'll have plenty of food. Okay. Question number five. How did the crew of the ship come to the conclusion that Jonah was the reason for this terrible storm? How did they come to that conclusion? What did you say, Peggy? Hey, that's good. I was actually going to give a multiple choice on that one. but uh, uh, Hello, Tiffany. Uh, but, uh, we have some people saying drawing straws. We say some casting lots. Tasha says casting lots. Jeff says casting lots. Peggy says casting lots. Pick a rock, scissors. <laughs> you know what? I was looking at a trivia online that was gave some trivia questions, and it one of the, it was a multiple choice, and it said rock, paper, scissors. See there? See there? <laughs> Never it. Jeff says casting lots. Let's see. So, the, how did the crew of the ship come to the conclusion that Jonah was the reason for the terrible storm? The answer is all of you, most of you are correct. It was casting lots. It was not rock, paper, scissors. Our lead pastor said rock, paper, scissors. No, he was kidding around. Okay. <laughs> we'll give him a little bit of a break. Um, um, there was something else I was going to say about that. They were all praying to their different gods and that wasn't working, so they went and woke Jonah up and said, Hey, pray to your God, see if it works. Okay. So, whose idea? Was it? This is question number six. Question number six, Jonah in the Bible. Hit the share button, by the way. We are here at Gondolier Live. Okay, next question. Question number six. Whose idea was it to throw Jonah into the sea? Whose idea was that? Jonah. Some people are saying that it was Jonah's idea to throw Jonah into the sea. Hmm. Yeah, that goes back to our crazy people in the Bible trivia. <laughs> to throw yourself into an ocean or a sea, which uh, that would be Jonah, Jonah, Jonah. Randy says Captain. Yeah, but is that Captain Kangaroo or Captain Deez or Captain America? What's the other Captain? Ahab. Captain Ahab? What was the other? What's the Captain that's on the cereal? Captain Crunch. Yeah. So. Louise has joined us, and she says Jonah. Mom says it was his own idea. You guys are correct if you said Jonah. Jonah, if you look in there, Jonah says, just throw me in the ocean. You're going to find out a little bit later. Okay, you know what? Never mind. That's going to get some of my questions like that are coming here. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get ahead of myself. Question number seven. Um, <laughs> you're kind of right, Randy. The whole boat decided, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's throw them in. Okay, question number seven, Jonah... Jonah in the Bible, question number seven. What <laughs> what was it that swallowed Jonah? Well, well. Uh oh, we have some people saying a whale and some people saying a big fish. Uh, so that is a huge that is a huge debate going on here. Jeff says big fish. Tasha says a whale. What's the senior pastor say? He said he said fish. Oh, Tashawn went with great fish. Wow. Whoa, she went King James on us. Randy says a whale. 
I read somewhere, by the way, that somebody in some translation said that Jesus referred to Jonah and said whale. But I don't know. Randy says a catfish. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Big. Yes. So, um, if you said it's acceptable, a great fish is what the actual answer is. Um, oh, my mom was saying thanks, was saying thanks, Peggy Hamby. So, <laughs> I guess you, you were trying to. You were trying to. Because I spell check the word. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. Y'all, you in sync the other school, two school teachers helping each other out here. All right. So, what kind of fish? So it was, you know, some people say it was like, uh, so I heard somebody, I heard people say it was like a grouper, you know, I mean, they try to come up with these ideas of what, or a sea bass or some other things, a fish that's big enough to actually swallow a human. So, but I don't know. Who knows? Well, they put a female fish there. Big mouth. Big mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't go there. That was one of the single guys. <laughs> One of the single guys. <laughs> yeah, me and Bill are single. We can't figure it out. You know. So okay. Um, all right. Um, okay, Jonah. Okay, going to my next question. When Jonah, by the way, Jonah, you know, kind of going ahead. Sorry, the fish threw him up, spat him out up on the beach. He goes to Nineveh. He's at Nineveh. Jonah delivered a very short message. A very short message from God that caused the city of Nineveh to repent. How many words were in that message? I'll give you a multiple choice. Were there two words in that message? Were there eight words in that message? Were there 30 words in that message? Or were there 43 words in that message? Very, very, very short message, but... What are you saying? <laughs> I'm going to have both about sermons. Well, Tasha says eight words. So the, the options are two... Uh, words, eight words, thirty words, or forty-three words in that message. Anybody? Anybody? I guess it probably depends on what translation you're looking at. But you know, do we, do we have Tasha says eight, Jeff says two, Judy says two. We have a couple other people in the room saying eight. So um, a person, a few words. And then, you know, this is kind of a guessing question because had I not looked it up, I wouldn't know it. Um, the answer is eight. It was an eight word message which let me call, let me uh, <laughs> yeah. it was an eight word message um, I'm going to go to my next question before I tell anything about it because I think there's follow up questions here so question number nine Jonah's eight word message was and there's a fill in the blank the, the word how many is the fill in the blank how many days blank days from now Nineveh will be destroyed Blank days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed. We have some people saying 40. 40. So that fits. Jeff says 40. Jonah's eight word message was blank days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed. Which goes to tell you that, you know, God probably was providing the conviction because I think if Tony and Bill got up and said that in church, I don't know that they'd be that well received. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, Jonah's eight word message was, how many days from now Nineveh will be destroyed? Everybody is saying 40. You guys are correct. So, the eight word message that he came in and said, it's in quotations in the Bible, was, uh, and he just, I think, just kind of started shouting it from the streets. Uh, how many days, uh, 40 days from now Nineveh will be destroyed? So, that was the eight word message that he did. Now, I'm sure there was some follow up to Shah says 40. Luis says 40. You guys are correct with the answer 40. Now, here's a true false question. This question number 10, I've got about 12 questions in the bonus or two here. So question number 10, true or false? Okay, this first part is a statement. This is arguably the greatest revival in history as the whole nation repented, okay? That's, that's a statement. Jonah, so this is the true or false part. Jonah was very prideful after his great revival occurred. Is that true or false? Jonah was very prideful. You say false. Jonah was very prideful after this great revival occurred. Was he very prideful? No. no Jeff says false. False. Well, everybody in here saying false, that he was very prideful. Anybody else? Anybody else? Going once. <laughs> Going once? Going twice. I know the, the Facebook plan, they probably haven't even gotten the question yet. You know, it's probably still coming to them. Louise says false, so I know she's Facebook, Facebook. We have some people live answering in the room on Facebook and in person. So this is arguably the greatest revival in history as the whole nation repented. 
Uh, Jonah was very prideful after this great revival occurred. Is that true or false? Well, the answer is false. He was not prideful. He was angry. He was very angry, which leads us to some more questions here. <laughs> some more trivia questions. Randy says true. He might have been prideful, I guess, but I was looking for angry. I thought about that when I put this. He might have been prideful and angry. So kind of like, you know, most NBA players or football players. So or track athletes, that's what I was. So, uh, but anyway, um, let's see here. Question number 11. Jonah was angry because he wanted God to do something else. What was it that he wanted God to do? He was angry for a reason because he was, God did not do what Jonah wanted him to do. Does anybody know what that is? I think Bill and Tony know. They're just kind of holding their uh, tongue. So, uh, he wanted God to destroy. We have someone who says, oh, and Tasha says that as well, destroy Nineveh. Uh, so that might be the answer. I don't know. Maybe he wanted God to make him a billionaire. I don't know. Uh, so uh, I can't tell you the answer yet. I'm going to let a couple people answer. Maybe he wanted a reality TV show about getting spit up by a whale or fish or whatever it was. Jonah was angered because he wanted God to do something else. What was it that he wanted God to do? Let's see if any of my Facebook peeps answer. Anybody learning anything on this? Uh, am I teaching anything? I don't know. <laughs> mom says destroy Nineveh. So, Mom, you are right. By the way, where's Martha Faye? What in the world? She hasn't even showed up yet. <laughs> that is unacceptable, Martha Faye. Being on the beach. Okay, that was question 11. So Jonah was angry because he wanted God to destroy Nineveh, and God did not destroy Nineveh. Uh, as a matter of fact, let me make sure I don't say anything else that I'm going to ask here. Yeah, he was very, God, God forgave, and he, when they repented, God changed his mind. As a matter of fact, it's kind of interesting. If you read in the Bible, you know, you think you always hear these things about God has this thing, he has this perfect plan and all this type of stuff, and he's going to do whatever, and it's already predestined and all this type of stuff. It actually says in the Bible that God changed his mind. So uh, whenever they repented, God changed his mind. So we have the power to change God's mind. So anyway, there you have it. So going on to question number 12. Uh, how, how many, wait, is that right? Okay, question number 12. How many people in Nineveh were living and living in spiritual darkness according to God in the book of Jonah. I'll give you a, I'm going to give you two choices to go from 120,000 people or 50,000 people. 120. Let's say 120, 120. it took three days to walk across it. Yeah, hey, look at you, man. I almost asked that question. Man, this guy, this guy right here, though, and Tasha says 120K. So, uh, and we, we have a couple people saying 120,000. Uh, one of the questions I was going to ask that uh, Jeff just said was that I was, whenever Jonah went to Nineveh, they were saying it was this great city. It was so big that it would take three days just to like see the city or go across it and that type of thing. So, and Randy says 120, Louise says 120,000. You guys are correct. How many people in Nineveh were living in spiritual darkness? According to God, in the book of Jonah, 120,000. Okay, a couple of bonus questions. Then I'm gonna do a speed round through bills because bills is really hard. So. Uh, <laughs> I think it, I, I, I read, I glanced through it real quick. Okay. Jonah was so mad at God for not destroying Nineveh. What did he ask from God? He was so mad at God. I think Tashana is the answer over there. She did her homework. So he was so mad at God, he asked God to do something that. Yeah, once again, this kind of labels him as one of the crazy people in the Bible. Tasha says, kill me. Kill him. What's that? Kill him. Yep, you're saying yeah. kill me. Anybody else? I think that's the wind blowing that door open, by the way. Either that or the ghost of Jonah is walking over here right now. So Jeff says, kill him. And you guys are correct by saying killing him, which I was going to go all the way back to whenever he said, throw me in the ocean. Like, he was so ticked off. And he was so upset and mad at God that he just wanted them to throw him overboard and die. He was that he was that mad. He was so ticked off and rebellious and did not want to go. And he wanted the people of Nineveh to suffer and be punished and be destroyed. 
Mom says, take this life. There you have it. So uh, that's pretty ticked off. You know what I mean? Like if you're just so mad that you don't want to do anything that God says. I guess he was in the belly of the well for three days just so, you know, God was kind of like, I guess if you're getting acidic juices sprayed all over you, like, and all that stuff, you know, you know after a while, I'm like, okay, whatever. He's like in a torture chamber for like three days. So, which I think I did skip over one question here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, I know I skipped over one. Well, I was going to ask, yeah, I, or I forgot to put it in here. How many days and Three. how many nights? How many days and how many nights was he in the well? Three days and... Three nights. Three nights, okay. All right, yeah, so... I was gonna to try to ask that in a tricky way to make it sound like it's different for it was three days and two nights, you know, so two night three it was like you know, like a vacation. It was three full days and two nights. <laughs> so okay, um, it was not a vacation by the way. All right. Here's a my final question and then I'm going to Bill's. What nationality was Jonah? Hebrew. Hebrew Hebrew Atlanta says Hebrew, Tasha says Hebrew. We said we have someone saying Jewish. Louise did say the three days and three nights. You are correct on that, Louise. Um, we have Jewish. We have Hebrew. I'm going to defer to the guy from South Florida. Can we take except Hebrew and Jew? Yes. Okay, all right. So <laughs> that is acceptable. <laughs> I wanted to make sure that it was all good. So if you said Hebrew or, or Jew, our resident South Floridian, well, he was a resident of South Florida. So um, he said that is acceptable to say Hebrew or Jew. Now, Let's take a quick look at bills here. I know that some of them are repeat, probably. Okay. Jonah's college level now. College. Yeah, so this is, hey, yes, we are stepping, stepping up to college level, okay? You guys ready for this? And I, I'll burn through this just so you can hear how, what bills were. Most of the prophets were sent by God with a message from the Israelites. Who was Jonah's targeted audience? They ask that like a college professor, like a doctor. That is, that is a, that's how a doctor writes. This is how a moron writes right here. But this is how a doctor writes, okay? Most of the prophets were sent by God with a message to the, to, for, the, for the Israelites. Who was Jonah's targeted audience? Well, the answer to that was the Ninevites, which is, um, and uh, so, which that is a good question. Because most of them weren't sent to the Israelites because, like it or not, God was biased towards the Israelites. I don't care. I was going to tick some people off, but it's true. We were second. So, okay, question number two. God called Jonah to <laughs> Mosul. Is that right? M-O-U-S-U-L. Am I saying that right? I, Mosul, Iraq. But Jonah headed to Seville, Spain. What are the biblical names of these two cities? So Mosul, Iraq is where he was supposed to go, which is Nineveh. And he was headed for Seville, Spain, which is Tarshish. Can you, you see how hard that is? I mean, I'm telling you, that's good stuff. But man, I mean, unless you've got Google or Apple, like, or something helping you out, man, Siri, you're, that's good stuff. See, now you're really getting educated. So, uh, question number three Who confronted jo Jonah about his disobedience? We go back, it was Captain Crunch. It was the ship master. The ship master is the one who confronted Jonah about his disobedience. Question number four. How was Jonah's guilt revealed? We already got that one. Yeah, the casting of the lots. So, and me and Bill didn't even look at each other's trivia when we wrote these out. So uh, that was we had the same one there. Here's a true or false: the shipmates threw Jonah overboard. That was a good one, Bill. True or false? That is false. In, in anger, I'm sorry. In anger, true or false? That is false. Jonah said, "Throw me overboard." So, question number six. Question number six. How long was Jonah in the belly of the fish? Three days and three nights. Yes. Question number seven. To what did Jonah compare his experience in the fish's belly? This is a good one. Yes. To what did Jonah compare his experience in the fish's belly? Which would make sense why he was like, okay, God, I'll go and I will. <laughs> What's that? To oh, one Bill said to listen to one of the sermons. And, oh, oh, man, that is brutal. Oh, that was brutal, man. He compared it to being in hell, which, by the way, yes, and that's what Tasha said, which, by the way, um, 
<laughs> Brittany said salty trivia. <laughs> but but you know that which is interesting because the thing is, is he was so mad that he had them have him thrown overboard. He wanted to die, but instead God let him go to basically go to hell for three days, and that'll change your mind real quick. About okay, I'll go deliver your message. Uh, so um, question number seven. I tell you what. Y'all need to read the book of Jonah because he took another beating after he because he was still ticked off and then God uh, allowed some other things to happen to him because he was just so mad about everything. Um, oh, Randy says he was in a boat, not a ship. Ah, that's true. You know, they talk about they were rowing that thing. So, okay, question number, um, <laughs> question number eight. What sacrifice did Jonah promise God for deliverance from the belly's fish? What sacrifice did Jonah promise God for deliverance from the belly of the fish? I'll give you the answer. Sacrifice and thanksgiving or praise. So that's what he offered God. If you sacrifice of God. Yeah. Praise. Sacrifice of thanksgiving or praise. Excuse me. Sacrifice of thanksgiving or praise. Question number nine. Jonah finally went to Nineveh. How big was the city? Three miles, yeah. three, 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 three days walk. Three days, three days. Jeff had that one. That was well. Bill had that one. I was thinking about asking that one. It was. It took three days to walk across the city. That's how big uh, Nineveh was. Uh, question number ten. Um, question number ten. How many? By the way, we finished the trivia that I wrote. I'm going through a quick a speed round of what Bill wrote for the trivia. We did not collaborate at all. Question number ten. How many people lived in Nineveh? 120,000. 120, so that in mind was like how many people unrighteous or whatever, but they said the whole town was unrighteous. Uh, uh, question number 11. Upon hearing God's word, the sinful people of Nineveh repented. What was Jonah's reaction? Yes, he was angry. He was not prideful, as I was trying to trick you into earlier. He was very, very angry. Throughout the, in question number 12, and this was uh, uh, Bill's final question here. Throughout the book of Jonah, how many times did Jonah pray and ask to die? We had a good old southern answer. Uh, several couple of times. <laughs> yes. Several. Many, many times. Several. Well, the answer is it was three times that he uh, prayed and asked to die. So, so, And Jonah's an interesting book, so... Uh, I'll preach a little sermon on that one, but uh, but anyway, well there you have it. There's your trivia for tonight. We'll probably be back at uh, Gondolier next week. That's the plan because they have a huge menu that I'm trying to work my way through. And uh, so I mean I'm talking about the thing takes up like five TV screens like in the front to go through this menu. So uh, I had the ch chicken fettuccine Alfredo and it was really good. The pita, what was that? The pita what? Uh, steak the steak pita. So good. Man oh, y'all had manicotti? Manicotti. We had, you know, of course, the personal pizza. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, spaghetti. They have, they have burgers. They have sandwiches. They have fries. They have mozzarella sticks. They have fried mushrooms. They have, they have all kinds of stuff here. So, Am I the only one taking food to my mother-in-law? Yeah. Oh, look at you, man. Oh, so humble. Such a humble. <laughs> All right, I need to let these poor people go. They've been having to look at me for a little while. So I will uh, thank you all for watching. By the way, real quick, we had a fantastic outdoor service yesterday. And I don't know about you guys that are here in the audience, but we were, it started to, a couple sprinkles started coming down during the service yesterday. There was some praying going in the crowd. Yes, there was. I was praying. I was like, Lord, uh, thank you for the rain, but could you please put it off for just a couple of hours? And uh, so, but anyway, uh, I'm going to close this out with a word of prayer here. And Wednesday we'll have at 11.30 a.m. we'll have the uh, midweek moment with the pastor. And then we'll be back inside next Sunday uh, for our Mother's Day. Don't forget, guys, it's Mother's Day. Guys, gals, uh, anybody who's a kid, that's all of you. Uh, it is Mother's Day. Um, it is Mother's Day next Sunday. So, or it's coming Sunday. So let's pray. God, I thank you that we can come here tonight, and we thank you for this food uh, that we are uh, that we are able to eat. And, uh, we just thank you for that, and uh, been able to look in the book of Jonah and understand uh, that uh, no matter what, we, how close we need to stay with you to not, um, whenever you call us to do something, to follow your word and to do it willingly and happily. Uh, 
So, God, I just thank you that we can come here tonight once again and dive into your word and learn, uh, remember things that we maybe learned growing up and just refresh our memories. And I pray that you're pleased as we've gone through this. And I speak on behalf of everyone here, anybody on Facebook right now uh, who might hear me, God, when I tell you that we love you and we thank you for the gift of salvation we have through Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus' name we pray all these things. Amen. Amen. All righty. <laughs> My mom says that I'm not gaining weight. It's like, I thought my mom said, you're gaining weight. And the, like, mom said, fatty, pretty man. Michael, Michael, fatty, pretty man. So, yeah. so <laughs> fatty man. All right, guys, we will see you uh, some other time. Take care. <laughs>